We do not have empty space between us. We have energy. We have electromagnetic energy. And we have in that energy information. And from that, what I call the biological computer, decodes that information into a sense of reality that we think is solid but simply cannot be. And now we have mainstream scientists saying this reality could be just a hologram, exactly what it is. Nikola Tesla, the genius from which so much came, he could see beyond the physical that we perceive. And he said, the day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will be, uh, make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of our existence. Why? Because you go to the source of the reality instead of the decoded expression of that reality. What I call consciousness is like the ocean. Whereas mind, it's the same substance, but it is far more limited. Like ice is the same substance as water, but it's in a completely different and more limited state. And, you know, when you look at the, the, the oceans, they say it's the South China Sea. They say it's the South Atlantic, the Indian Ocean, the North Atlantic. Same bloody water. But what we do is we give our water, our infinite self names, like Ethel Jones and Arthur Smith. And we give them um, identities without realizing that we are just points of attention within one infinite, eternal consciousness. We are expressing our point of attention as a uniqueness, which is wonderful. A unique personality, a unique person, a unique perspective, a unique point of attention. But at that time, we are connected to all the other points of attention in infinite awareness, which in the end are all us and we are all them. And so, when we go to war, we go to conflict, we are fighting ourselves. The ocean is the droplet, the droplet is the ocean. Drop the droplet in the ocean, where does the droplet end and the ocean start? The idea of the conspiracy is to keep that droplet disconnected from the ocean. And when they do that, we have the world that we live in. If you don't become the ocean, you'll be seasick all your life. And so many people feel this, this ache, this, this sense of disconnection, this sense of longing that they can't put words to because one part of them, one, one level of them knows that we're all one. Everything is all one. Leonardo da Vinci, learn how to see, realize that everything connects to everything else. It's an ocean. We are a point of attention, but we are the ocean. My God, that's, that's what we are. We're the freaking ocean of infinite consciousness. What a job they've done to persuade us we're Ethel from the store. Near-death experiences, the common themes of what they say is incredible. How they leave the body and some, so, suddenly past, present and future are all happening at the same time, in the same moment. How they have multiple levels of awareness at the same time. In the body they had one level of awareness. Because the body focuses us in these frequencies, locks us in like a computer. The fear of death comes from the ignorance of life. There is no death. There's just a removal from the vehicle into consciousness, in awareness of itself again. But you get people frightened of death and they'll give their power away to doctors and chemo freaking therapy and all of it because they want to stay alive because they fear death. There is no death. There's just a change of point of attention. So we have a visible universe, that which we can see, and we have an invisible universe, which is everything else. And the visible universe is so tiny, it is funny. And so through the body, the body, we, we perceive in a visual sense what the body can decode, which is this little band of frequencies. You go outside the body, now you're perceiving much greater frequencies, and thus your reality changes. If you wish to understand the universe, said Tesla, think of energy, frequency, and vibration. Exactly. So, our point of attention holds us in this reality, 
unless we're open to consciousness. Because what happens is if you come into this reality, this visible light reality, and you hold that connection to consciousness beyond this reality, you have everything you need. You have the information coming through the senses to give you a fix on what's happening around you. But you have the big picture that's outside of this reality, that's not programmed by its perceptions and its sense of limitation, which can then uh, feed you insight, inspiration, intuition, to give you insight beyond that which you are directly experiencing. But you get disconnected from that big problem. You're now trying to get your entire fix on reality from the reality you are in. And if a network controls that reality and that information that's coming at you, they are going to program your sense of reality for life. And so in this world, there are people in the program who are only getting that sense of reality. And then there are people who've opened their minds and opened their hearts who are accessing another sense of reality. And these people call these people mad and crazy and dangerous. Yes, they are. They're dangerous to the prevailing program. So what is the universe? It is information. Information decoding information. And form is in formation. Our base state is awareness, doesn't have form, it's just awareness. But we come into the, into the realms of form, and form is created from information. And so we need to stop living the lie and start living the truth of who we really are. We are infinite awareness. We are not humans, that is our experience. We are infinite awareness having that experience. Infinite possibility.